Cannell, President and CEO of Ari. Welcome right. to the Digital Scene Show here at uh, VES uh, Production Summit. Thank you. And you were just part of a panel, mm. and you guys were talking about that blurred line between production or pre-production, production, and post, right? Right. Uh, so first up, let's talk a little bit about your camera, the, the new Alexa, mm. which is not that new anymore, right? I mean, a couple well, of months. Well, it's been on the market now for about three months and uh, is widely used now in feature film, uh, television, commercials, documentaries, all, all sorts of production. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's exciting because, uh, um, you know, it's, I think this is a camera that um, really, you know, for the, for the first time in, in um, um, this is what our customers are telling us, is really is a digital camera solution without compromises in terms of uh, dynamic range or sensitivity or color fidelity, quality, so forth. It's, uh, so we have a lot of our traditional film filmmakers and film cinematographers embracing the Alexa and jumping on board and shooting, uh, shooting with it now. So it's exciting. And of course, as you know, the, the digital transition is moving very fast now right. uh, from film to digital. Right. Well, one of the coolest things I know about the Alexa is the, what you guys call the DT, direct to yeah. edit, right? Can you maybe talk a little bit about that? Right. So we introduced um, at NAB the, the, the um, direct to edit uh, capability, which basically is a, a ProRes codec embedded in the camera. And we re uh, record ProRes quick time files directly to uh, S by S cards. Those S by S cards can be pulled out of a camera, pushed into a slot on an Apple Pro Book, right. and immediately you're up and running looking at quick times or you're up and running in Final Cut Pro. Of course, it's also directly compatible with Avid now today as well. So we envision that as a format for um, offline editorial, and indeed it is. Uh, but we're finding now that since we support ProRes HQ and ProRes 444, that these are very high quality codecs and people are looking at finishing their, their programs directly from that format. Um, certainly for television and commercials type work, it makes a lot of sense. I don't believe it's the best solution for feature films. For that, we offer the Airy Raw recording capability right. as well. So. And the reason you say that is because of the color space? It's because of the color space and, and the capability of uh, utilizing the full resolution and the sure. full, full range of our sensor. So the fundamental resolution of our sensor is uh, over 3K. Um, it's a color buyer color filter array. So basically we then process that to either a 2K or an HD output for traditional finishing operations. But if we take the airy raw format out of the camera, the active um, area of the image is uh, 2880 actually by 1620. So it's significantly oversampled from the 2K finishing format, which gives you more room to work with in post. If you're a VFX, uh, um, uh, um, doing VFX work, for example, now you've got some range to do resizing or repositioning of a shot. If it's a stereo production, it gives you some capability for, uh, for framing and adjusting um, you know, in, in post. It's a PL mount uh, mm. camera? Yes. It? So PL mount, but we also actually, um, and again, new for us, we support interchangeable lens mounts now. Uh, so we can support Panavision lenses as well as Canon and Nikon lenses for the people that are moving from the DLSR world. Well, and I was going to mention that. Is, is that because uh, of the DSLR revolution? Obviously, you know, for, for good or bad, whatever the codec is of mm. DSLR, right. it, it is a revolution. It's, sure. it's bringing the cinematic look down mm. to people that couldn't afford it, right. Right? Uh, right. a very expensive lens and a big expensive camera. So what's your take on that whole DSLR revolution? How is that affecting camera makers like you guys mm. into bringing the price down, the cost down? While bringing the quality up? Mm. Well, I mean, we, we're still focused um, on our traditional marketplace, which is high end filmmaking, episodic TV, commercials, that type of thing. And we basically wanted to build a camera without any compromises for our traditional base. But because of the price point of the camera, which is, you know, fully equipped is about $75,000. It's not cheap, it's not DSL price, but it's still at a point where sure. we now see lots of private owners, small production companies, commercial shooters buying our camera and jumping in. And uh, many of them had, um, you know, jumped into digital with either the RED camera or the DLS D DSLR cameras. Right. And now are, you know, are moving up in a sense, um, but not necessarily dropping their other tools, they're supplementing their other tools with uh, with our cameras so we're we're excited about that because it's a really a new a new market or a new way of working for sure. us yeah, it's definitely a great camera if people want to find out more about the Alexa where do they go yes uh, aerydigital.com so on our website we have lots of information about the product about workflows about current productions and so forth so aerydigital.com excellent well great to meet you okay thank you thank you